welcome students now in this lecture we are starting with question number 3 in the previous lecture we completed our question number 2 so starting with question number 3 the question is answer the following questions and one of the sub question is is y equal to 6 understand please is y equal to 6 the value of y is 6 is y equal to 6 is the solution of given equation so they are asking us whether that y is equal to 6 is the solution for this equation see up till now what we were doing up till now up till now we always solve any given equation right and we get the value of unknown or in other words we get the value of variable in this question in this equation the unknown is y the variable is y okay but here they are asking us whether y equal to 6 is the solution of this okay so what we have to do if we have to just check whether the given value of the any variable or unknown is the solution for this or not then what we do we just have to substitute it we just have to substitute it how to do that please see over here now given equation is 3y minus 9 is equal to 22 now see what i am doing it in the solution part in the solution part i'll say lhs means left hand side which is 3y minus 9 it's 3y minus 9 okay put y is equal to 6 wherever we have y i am just putting this 6 because i need to check whether y is equal to 6 is really a solution of the given equation or not if it happens to be the solution you know then what will happen if it happens to be the solution then after substituting at the place of y 6 I'll get the answer which is equal to right hand side and here RHS is 22. So let's check whether I get RHS as 22 or not. So is equal to 3 as it is 3 at the place of y I'll put 6 minus 9. Okay, 6 threes are is 18 minus 9 and 18 minus 9 is 9 and it is not equal to 22 which is not equal to RHS. So our left hand side is not equal to my right hand side. So therefore i can say therefore y is equal to 6 is not a solution is not a solution of given equation is not a solution of given equation here the question ends but in exam we can also ask you i can just extend this question we can give you this question check whether if y equals to 6 is a solution of the given equation or not so this is the solution if not we can add this question see i'm adding this question if not if not then find the solution then find the solution that means if y equals to 6 does not happens to be the solution of this given equation then you find the actual solution and this time it's the case that y equals to 6 is not the solution of the given equation because left hand side is not equal to right hand side so now if i see my extended question which is not there in the textbook then i actually have to find the real solution if at all this would be the case that left hand side became equal to right hand side that means y is equal to 6 is the solution of the given equation then no need for this then i would have not solved this green color part because any linear equation in one variable has a unique solution okay but now i am solving it further to to find the actual solution because the given value of y does not happens to be the solution because left hand side uh, comes no, not equal to right hand side okay so now for solution for solution okay i'll take the equation 3y minus 9 is equal to 22 okay as we do always same thing 3y as it is over here 22 minus 9 comes here becomes plus 9 okay next step therefore 3y is equal to 22 plus 9 22 plus 9 becomes 31 please okay so therefore therefore y is equal to 31 upon 3 and this is the solution students this is the solution this is the value and you can check afterwards after solving this pause the video and you can check where where if you once again take left hand side and at the left hand side if you substitute at the place of y 31 upon 
then you will get right hand side ka answer as 22 okay so this part if it's given in the exam this extended question that if not then find the solution then only you have to solve okay and if in the question it happens to be that the value which is given happens to be the solution that means if left hand side comes equal to right hand side then no need even to solve this because it's clearly mentioned that if not that means if the given value is not the solution is not the solution then you find uh, go ahead and find the solution okay pause the video please and do it first okay students now the next question is on the screen is the solution to the equation 7p minus 11 equals to 9 a natural number is the solution to the given equation 7p minus 11 equals to 9 a natural number i don't know when i'll come to know when i'll actually solve it so it's rather a question where we need to find the value of unknown which is p over here the variable is p over here so it's just a question of like solve it okay and then we will comment upon what answer we get okay so let's first solve it solution okay in the solution part first i'll copy the question as it is 7p minus 11 is equal to 9 now i need to find the value of p therefore 7p remains here is equals to 9 minus 11 comes here becomes plus 11 please okay therefore therefore 7p is equal to 9 plus 11 9 plus 11 becomes 20 so now therefore p will be 20 upon 7 20 upon 7 see if i divide 20 upon 7 over here 20 7 over here 7 twos are is 14 minus 6 is the remainder 6 is a smaller number as compared to 7 so i'll put a decimal point over here and a zero over here 7 eights are is 56 minus 4 over here because already we had put a decimal point i can put a zero over here 7 fives are is 35 minus 5 year a zero year because 5 was a smaller number than 7 7 sevens are 49 minus 1 over here 1 is smaller then i can put a 0 7 ones are 7 minus 3 and it goes on and on and on basically when you get this value p as 20 upon 7 at this time only you should understand that my number my answer for p will not be an integer it will be any number which will be in a decimal format because 20 is not divisible by 7 so on the contrary i will say no need for doing this steps also because it's very sure that 20 does not goes in 7 times table so you'll get an answer in the decimal form only so now tell me students whether this answer of p the actual value of p is this solution which is called a solution of the given equation is this a natural number of course not this is very very important part of this lecture what i am starting with very very important part golden rules to solve word problems of linear equations yes these are the golden rules to convert the english the statements into the mathematical form already i gave you the same thing when we were doing the rational numbers covered problems but once again i am teaching you this okay please pay attention all of you over here now the very first point i want to give you all is whenever there is a plus sign whenever there is a plus sign okay in the question then how to solve it what what do you mean by plus in the mathematical statements so please see here all of you whenever you come across with the words more it means plus whenever you come across with the word after added increases hence some elder and there can be many more dot 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 this means plus so in any word problem if you come across come across with these words more it means plus after plus added plus increases plus hence means plus some means plus elder means plus okay now the next one please now if you come across with the words i'm writing here it means subtraction minus okay it means minus 
what are the words if you come across with less more means plus so less means minus after means plus okay so before means minus added means plus so subtracted means minus increases means plus so decreases means minus hence means plus so ago means minus some means plus so difference means minus elder means plus so younger younger means minus okay bigger i can add one more many more words bigger means plus so smaller than minus dot 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 you can extend your library of words please so leave two lines while you are writing notebook and when you are cross with new words you should add on into your library of words okay next what i can say is for multiply for multiply the third pointer for the multiply okay what can be the words for the multiplication please over here for multiply we can say whenever you come across with the words of of means multiply you will decode the word of as multiply product times okay if of comes you will decode it as multiply if product comes you will decode it as multiply if word times comes you will decode it as multiply okay various times we see this like the word twice okay twice means what two multiplied by or if you see thrice it means what three multiplied by yeah this are the scenarios now next one is it division the last one fourth division division if you come across with the word divided it's pretty simple divided or quotient or the word ratio okay these words means the division divided you will decode it as division quotient as division okay ratio as division please and at last the fifth one equal to sign it's also very important huh? don't underestimate this thing many students does not know that where to put equal to sign equal to sign okay equal to sign so if you come across with the words becomes is equal to dot 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 always you can add on into this library please okay so more after added increases hence some elder means plus less before subtracted decreases ago difference younger means minus of product times means multiply divided quotient ratio means division becomes wherever the word becomes you see wherever the word is you see wherever the word equal to you see it means equal to sign you will put in the equation pause the video please learn it then only you can start with the actual linear equations word problems please draw the table fast pause the video please okay students so let's see the first question exercise 7.2 starting with the word problems yeah we all are excited okay let's start so twice the number decreased by 22 is 48 find the number so the first step in the solution i'll write let the number be x find the number so in the solution in the solution part the first thing i'll write let the number be x twice the number twice twice means two multiply i told you in the note so therefore two multiply two multiply by twice the number my number is what my number is x so two multiplied by x twice the number decreased by 22 decreased means minus 
डिक्रीज मीन्स माइनस सो माइनस ट्वेंटी टू इज इज मीन्स इक्वल टू साइन इज इक्वल टू फोर्टी एट इज फोर्टी एट प्लीज येस दैट्स इट दैट्स इट देर फॉर सो वी जस्ट हैव टू फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स बिकॉज द नंबर इज एक्स एंड वी नीड टू फाइंड द नंबर सो देर फॉर कैन आई से टू एक्स इज इक्वल टू फोर्टी एट माइनस ट्वेंटी टू कम्स यर बिकम्स प्लस ट्वेंटी टू प्लीज येस सो देर फॉर देर फॉर टू एक्स इज इक्वल टू एट प्लस टू बिकम्स टेन कैरी वन फोर प्लस वन फाइव एंड दिस टू सेवन एट प्लस टू टेन जीरो कैरी वन फाइव सिक्स सेवन सेवेंटी ओके सो देर फॉर एक्स विल बी सेवेंटी डिवाइडेड बाई टू टू वन जा टू थ्री जा इज सिक्स कैरी वन इट बिकम्स टेन टू फाइव जा इज टेन सो लेट्स इट वी गॉट आर आंसर देर फॉर x is equal to thirty five. Always, whenever word problems are asked, it's essential that at the end you should write the answer in statement form, please. Okay, I don't have place here. Okay, I'll manage here. Find the number. Therefore, required number. Therefore, required number, which we suppose it as x is equal to thirty five, please. That's it. Pause the video, please, and do it fast.